page 75, Juanita. Another well-known melody, a Spanish melody. I like Latin American music, it's just gorgeous. In this lesson, they're introducing you to the dominant seventh arpeggio, isn't that nice? Well, you're using a dominant seventh chord, and uh, you're playing it as an arpeggio, big deal. I have a video on all the ar seventh chord arpeggio things, and you can go do that video if you want. I go through pretty much all of them on the keys. You know, there's a pattern, you can just do them all. It's just that now you're playing the notes one note at a time. That's all. Here, we're in the key of D major. So they're, they're using, looks like the, the dominant seventh in the key of D major. With the dominant chord in D major, one, two, three, four, five would be here. These are the notes in D major, every other note, and that's what it would be. So that's what they're doing. But they give you some fingering there. The fourth finger is playing on a black key because you got one black key here. Each hand is going to do that. Have fun with it. I would recommend you do a trill exercise on this, or a tremolo, excuse me, a tremolo exercise to help drill the feeling of spreading these fingers out and the, the pattern, the hand pattern, where the keys are. Now let's talk one Eda and see what we get here. It's one page long, treble bass clef, two sharps in the key signature, I already talked about, it's in the key of D major. Go ahead and do the scale and arpeggio for D major and B minor. It has two sharps in it also. The C and the uh, F sharp, or the F sharp and the C sharp, depending on which comes first. Three, four times signature, let's take it one hand at a time. This is really a song to sing. It doesn't make for good piano music, but it's a nice, it's a nice sound. It's a nice piece. It's a nice song. Yeah. Right hand. Here. Start. One and two and. Now, I want to connect the melody. That's what I'm about. The thumb will do whatever. If you can't fit up in here, then we got to adjust this. What do we do? I do a one, four, two, three. So I got repeated notes. I can change on that. I can do a, a three, four. That way I stay out here and then it four. And again, repeated notes. I change on those. So adjust the fingering as you need to if you don't fit up in here. That's okay. I don't really want to spoon, spoon feed you this whole thing. You can read the notes, I hope. Down on measure 17, you have triplets. One and two and three and a one and two and. And then again on measure 21. Left hand just has the chords here. On the second measure, you can play those with the thumb if you want, rather than that. I usually do. Now, if you have to move anyway, you can use two and one. Well, so much for the left hand, let's put them together. They're here. Together, the hands, then go back over a few measures at a time and work out the hesitations. And then I'll think about the articulation. This is pretty connected. You can lift up for the phrasing if you allow, if you can figure out where it is. Lift up. Lift up. It's like it's every couple of measures or so you can lift up. The left hand, it looks like you're doing oomchuck chucks. Now keep in mind a measure 17, they give you tenuto lines here. Linger on them. Hold those out. Don't play them short. Play them as long as you can. Yeah. Don't know why exactly. That can't do much with Tenuto in this situation, but just don't play them staccato if you can help it. That would be a, that, that would be a staccato feel. That's not what they want. They want a long held out. Huh. 
kind of a, a, a interpretation to it. Then the dynamics, soft at the beginning, that's here. Left hand's very soft. You do have a swell there. Come, it'll come down on its own, and then you soft again. So, put in the dynamics, and then we can think about the speed, which again is a nice stroll. One, two. somewhere in that area. Now they've added pedal, and we certainly need pedal here. It, it, we want the overtones, and we want to smooth this out a little bit. We'll start with the pedaling that's suggested in the book, and if we don't care for that, we'll change it. That's the way I'll do it anyway. It's going to be lag pedal. Notes down first, then the pedal. Lift up, I don't, lift up for the eighth notes on a smear. Chuck Chuck. But paddle first two beats. And if that's the interpretation you like, that's great. If you would like a more connected, then leave the pedal down for the measure. But in the second measure, I don't pedal this. Both. So in that case, I'm going to pedal the whole measure. I'm not going to pedal to beat two. If I'm only going to pedal the first beat, it doesn't matter. Depends on when you're pedaling. But I just don't want to pedal both. Here. So either pedal it and let go, or don't pedal to the half note. And on these others, I am pedaling, I'm changing the pedal on the first beat. because of the melody. I'm trying to keep it sort of clean, and that's why I'm changing it. If you only pedal the first beat of the major, you don't have to worry about it. See? And that's basically what they're doing. They're for the most part, they're pedaling the first beat of the major. That reinforces the natural accent. If that works for you okay, great. Go for that. Now, when you get to measure 17 here, the tenutos, I think I would want to pedal those repeated quarter notes because of the tenutos. I want to... It makes them stand out more, uh, connect more. It's, it's interpreting the music. Let's remember the articulation, the dynamics, the tempo, the pedaling, and all that stuff they show you. That's all part of interpreting the music. They're telling you guides, giving you some ideas on how to interpret the music. In an arrangement like this sort of thing, they're all suggestions. If you like to interpret it different, you are welcome to do so. Unless, of course, you have a teacher and they want you to interpret it their way or whatever. That's fine, too. I like to experiment and try different things out, different dynamics out, and different pedaling out to see what the sounds are. Let's play this together slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the louds and softs. I'll give us three counts. I think I'm going to pretty much just pedal it like that's shown in the book. 
just to keep it simple, and that'll be good enough. One, ready, go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 